Okay, so in this video I will show you some tips and some tricks in Calibre to use with a Kindle device, a Kindle e-reader. So I have some test books here. As you can see, they are in the format EPUB and the Kindle ebook reader can easily handle EPUB files nowadays. It's so easy to do. Uh, when you transfer the EPUB file to your Kindle device, it will automatically convert to a format that uh, Amazon says and thinks are the best format for your Kindle device, and that is KFX. So, if you have all your books stored as EPUB, you are good to go because they work everywhere. They work on your computer, your iPhone, your iPad and your Kindle devices. So I recommend you to keep them as EPUB files. But if you also have a Kobo, you can also have them in KeyPub, as you see there, the KeyPub format, because that is the excellent format to have with a Kobo e-reader. So you can have them stored in different format. Uh, as you saw, this book I have bought at Bokus in Sweden. So the book is in Swedish, but as you see here, it is in EPUB format. I have also a KeyPub format for my Kobo devices. And I have stored the original EPUB that I bought from Bokus.se. So I have that in different format. And this means that if I want to transfer a book to my Kindle ebook reader, I do that always wirelessly. A Kobo e-reader can't do that without a co-reader software that you need to install and hack your device with. But a Kindle can transfer books wirelessly by default. So then I just choose the different format I want to send to my device i can send it wirelessly and to do that send it wirelessly i just choose connect and share you see in the in the menu uh, i will not show that <laughs> uh, for you now because then you see my secret email address but i have set up so i have a email address in caliber to send the book to my Kindle device and I have also a video on my YouTube channel showing how you to do that in detail so check that video out you can find that on my YouTube channel so just choose connect and share and send the book to your Kindle device and it will show up on your Kindle device it's so so easy so having different format here is a uh, preferable way to store your books. So if I need also to sideload books uh, with a cable to my Kindle device, it could also be good to have a KFX format here. So I can send the KFX format to my Kindle device. To do so, I just select the book I want to convert to KFX. Then I go up to convert books. I can do it bulks with a lot of books or just one book with convert individually. I choose convert individually. As you can see here, I decided to use the EPUB format as my input format. I can choose other formats here if I want, but I have the input format EPUB and I have the output format. Here I can choose different format AZ. W3 is also a format you can use for your Kindle device, but I can recommend you to have KFX if you want to transfer the book with a wire to your Kindle device. Again, KFX is only used when you want to sideload books to your Kindle with a cable from Calibre. Those books that you transfer with KFX format will not show up on all your Kindle devices in sync. They will only show up on that device you add it to. So that's why I prefer to transfer my books wirelessly to my Kindle device because then they are in sync with my phone with the Kindle app and my iPad with my Kindle app. So 
I prefer doing this without a wire. But if we want to transfer to KFX, just choose KFX output format and click OK. Now, as you see here, it works with the conversion uh, jobs here. You see that it works with a conversion of this book. Uh, meanwhile, while it do that conversion, we can go through some uh, other stuff I have uh, up here. You see red is also a one way to have in Calibre. You can mark books as red or not red. You can have pages, how many pages books are in. Another great thing you should do with your books in Calibre to use with a Kindle device is to have them in the right EPUB format. There is a plugin in Calibre called Modify EPUB, as you can see here. So choose a book that you want to convert to have a modified EPUB uh, like this, and then click on the plugin. Here you see everything should be deselected and only one thing should be selected and that is encode HTML in UTF-8. That means that this EPUB will be much much better and easier to choose different fonts and um, some other stuff in on a Kindle device. So have all your EPUB files with a modify EPUB option encode HTML in UTF-8 and you are good to go. So now I click OK. As you see here when it's done, as we see here it's done now. Now you see uh, EPUB format and the original EPUB. So that means that I, when I choose the modify EPUB, it uh, stores the original EPUB file as this format and here is the new EPUB book with the modified EPUB plugin. So when I transfer this to my Kindle device, it will use the modify EPUB format. That is also a great thing to do. And as you, as you maybe know, you can install different plugins. We can go here and in uh, the plugins here, you see you have different plugins and you can install new plugins. As you see here, conversion output, for example, here you have the different format you can convert to. And as you see here, I have the Keypub plugin installed to have the Keypub format for my Kobe devices. I also have the KFX format installed to have it in KFX format to sideload with a cable, as I say. But these doesn't sync between the devices when you add them with a cable. You need to do that wirelessly to have this working. So, and you can do the same with the input format. Install different plugins to have different input format, as you see here. That's great. And you also have other stuff here. You can install different plugins the modify EPUB and count pages and so on. As you saw now here in the background, it has converted the, the book we choose to KFX, you see here. So now this book also has a format of KFX if I need to transfer it with a cable. So that means I have one copy of the book in EPUB, I have one copy in KeyPub and one copy in KFX and I have the original EPUB here, the first version that I bought online on Bocus. So I have now different format of the same book stored. See here which format you should use. I recommend you to have always an EPUB format of the book so you can use it everywhere. And then if I have a Kobo ebook reader, you can have a Keypub format too. And you should also have a KFX format if you want to use a cable to transfer your books to your Kindle device. Kindle devices is not locked down as many say, because you can use different format and you can easily send them to your Kindle. 
and it can uh, use PDF, TXT, HTML format or whatsoever actually. And with Caliber you can transfer them and convert them and do a lot of stuff here. So the most important thing is that you should have the modify EPUB plug in installed so you can modify it. And you should have count pages plugin so you can have the page count. And you should have different output formats and input formats. That's the most important thing. So in if you want to delete some books, you can do this. Just mark them and remove selected books. Now they are gone. That is how easy it is to do. And if I want to convert this, I first do a modify EPUB of it. And then when that is done, you see that it has the original EPUB, it has an EPUB format and also the old MOBI format. You should not use MOBI format anymore because Amazon will get rid of MOBI. They don't want us to use MOBI anymore. It's an old format. So use EPUB instead. So I have converted this to a modified EPUB now. Now I can once again convert it to KPUB, for example, for use with Kobo devices. I choose KPUB. So now when I convert this, it will be a KPUB file. As you saw there, now it's a KPUB file. I can also convert this to, to a KFX as I show you for before. Uh, we can convert KFX here. It takes quite long time to convert to KFX, but uh, it could be worth it if you have them side loaded with uh, cables because KFX is a brand new format with a lot of settings and typography and uh, you can change fonts, text uh, and a lot of stuff with KFX format. So when conversion is done, it will show up as a KFX here too. So that's about it. Please like this video. Okay. Bye.